Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. I'm feeling in an old school mood at the moment. Are you guys feeling in an old school mood at the moment? Yeah, I think you are. And if you're really not, well just pretend that you are. So let's get old school. I thought of this video topic entirely by myself. Well actually that's not true. This is a Patreon requested video. Taking credit for other people's ideas. It's what I do. Silica has asked, talk about PlayStation Mobile. Well, I guess I got no choice now. Let's talk about PlayStation Mobile. An idea that Sony dropped even faster than the PlayStation Vita, so I guess we have that going for us. And these are my top picks for the best PlayStation Mobile games to play on PlayStation Vita back in the day. I'd also love to hear what your favorite PlayStation Mobile games were. Share your choices down below. I can already feel the nostalgia creeping up on me. Now this list will be in no particular order, starting off with Gun Commando. Gun Commando is a distinctly classic first-person shooter that combines 8-bit graphics with visceral gameplay. In the likes of Wolfenstein and Duke Nukem, you play as Jack Bennett, a weapon-loving, alien-hating gun for hire, I just love how they phrase that, that is called in to save the world from the invading aliens. Because you know, if you have a shooting game, there just has to be aliens somewhere in the mix. Alongside the story and the great retro look, it features a unique weaponary upgrade system that rewards players' skill and accuracy, allowing you to upgrade to bigger guns faster if you got what it takes. And you'll be needing the big guns as the aliens are forced to be reckoned with. And sometimes cheap at the moment too, might me want to throw my Vita outside the window. If there's one thing we think makes this game stand out, this is the devs talking by the way, it's the way you are able to control the on-screen action. We believe the touchscreen controls rival that of the traditional mouse and keyboard setup, and for the first time, along you to really play a first person shooter on a touchscreen device, which I never use very often because quite frankly a touchscreen can just kiss me in the keister. I just prefer traditional controls here people. So yeah, Gun Commando. If you're a fan of the old 90s shooters on the PC as much as I was back in the day, this game is awesome. We got pretty violent in that last pick so let's get even more violent with this second pick. And that's with Oh Dear. No, I wasn't saying Oh Dear like that. I mean, I wasn't calling you dear or getting fresh or anything. That That's literally the name of the game. Don't worry, I only get creepy on the weekends. So, oh dear, this game was tons upon tons of fun for me back in the day. Well, the alpha build of it anyway. Does anybody know, did they actually ever release the full version of this game? I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me know down in the comments section. Anyway, oh dear is an arcade style Pursuto 3D driving game in which the player races a station wagon to Granny's house and either runs over as many deers as possible, which is what I did, along the way or does their best to avoid those deer, something that I didn't do. The game features a drifting mechanic and automatically scaling 16-bit sprites, the type you might remember from classic Sega arcade games like Hang On, Thunderblade, and Outrun. And to celebrate this game's crescendo of retroness, it is reinforced that the retro Sega inspired aesthetics of the original music from the composer best known for his work on the Genesis game Streets of Rage 2 and Streets of Rage 3 worked on the soundtrack for this. And if that doesn't tempt you to try it out, I don't know what will. Oh, and I guess this goes without saying, but uh, don't let Peter know that you've been playing this game. Ah, a game all about what I'm going to be doing after I finally choke on that fifth burrito I had for lunch. Sorry, that, that was pretty dark even for this channel. This is Haunt the House, Terror Town. Here's the summary. What was that sound? Is anybody there? Leave the dusty halls of an abandoned clock tower to haunt your way through a town in the dead of night. Possess objects with your ghostly soul to scare people away from a museum, a hospital, a theater, and a cruise ship. Ah, cruise ship. I've always wanted to spend my ghostly retirement years there. We'll have like ghostly shrimp buffets or something. I don't know what ghosts eat. Will you be able to scare everyone out and reclaim what has been lost before the night is over? A side-scrolling action puzzle game starring ghosts. And that's pretty much all you need to know. I mean, you're a ghost wreaking havoc on innocent civilians. I can't think a better concept for a game than that. With this next pick, I'm not 100% sure if it counts as authentic because it's been ported to like everything under the sun, but you know, we're no stranger when it comes to repetitiveness on this channel, so let's go with it. Alien Breed. The original Alien Breed is back in action, celebrating its then 21st anniversary. Alien Breed is a classic sci-fi top-down shooter developed by Team 17. Launching originally in 1991, Alien Breed has now been remade for PlayStation Mobile, or of course it was back then, which can only mean one thing. It's time to turn down the lights, turn up the sounds, and encounter Alien 
alien breed again and again and again because they're going to keep porting it. The key features? Classic mode. Play using the original graphics, music, and controls. Enhanced mode. Featuring enhanced graphics, audio, and controls. So it's not quite as... Tanky? Eight new levels. Entirely new levels that intersect with the original Alien Breed story. Six original Alien Breed levels. Twelve Alien Breed Special Edition levels. This game had all that in a bag of chips back in the day, if you know what I mean. Which is why I'm recommending it today! Well, I don't know if I'm technically recommending any of these, because this is just a top favorite list of mine, but I guess it sort of counts as a recommendation. Wow. For those of you who weren't into murdering helpless deers, we have another racing game here for you where there aren't any deers because we're in outer space. And I, well, I, I guess they could be there and they'd have to be wearing space helmets. Or I'm thinking too much on this. Switch Galaxy is what we're going to be talking about next. Welcome to Switch Galaxy, the fastest gaming experience on PlayStation Mobile that will have you blazing across the galaxy at breakneck speed. Switch Galaxy is an insanely addictive, fast-paced arcade challenge with gorgeous visuals and high-quality audio. Weave your way past past obstacles and enemies as you travel across the galaxy controlling Tantalum for Dakuro technology. I, 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 I don't know what I just read there. Reach their research base on the other side of the galaxy and you will be rewarded with their latest technology. Collect credits to spend on ship upgrades and look out for pickups on the track that will give you an advantage to get the best times and highest rewards. If you're eager for another challenge, then try out the survival mode. With one life and infinity in front of you, how long can you last? Keep Features in this game, high-speed fluid gameplay, mission-based story mode, high-quality graphics and audio, infinitely challenging survival mode, simple controls for reflex action, and upgradable ships and skins. Normally this is the part where I would tell you about why this game is awesome, but I mean you can see it on screen. You can see the awesomeness just oozing out of this game, so I don't need to tell you anything further. Ah, so many great games on PlayStation Mobile, and this was barely the tip of the iceberg. But if you were to ask me, these are five of some of the best games that were on the platform. Which were your favorites, though? What games on PlayStation Mobile do you have fond memories of? Or maybe you never even heard of it, and I just introduced you to something new. Let me know down in the comments section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Nero Rashi, Matt Fox, V Mystery, Reiko Star, Milk Sama, David Ray, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Wendy K, Adam Theory, Aaron Swanson, Mario Cruz, Pierre Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelle, E Rock, Kevin Enright, Buzz Sin, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Hemdal Imbert, Saul Ramirez, Ruben Gutierrez, Adam Sondi, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Red One Alloy, Burrs and Mystery, Lori Sweeney, Silica, Tasha Monti, Ronan Alganto, and Eric D. Witt. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that's cool too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to accomplish this task down there. Oh, and earlier when I said not to let Peter know that you've been playing, oh dear, I was 100% being authentic with that. You don't want to risk their wrath.